Hello everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial where we're going to learn about how to use the dodge and burn tools. What these tools are used for is to lighten or darken specific areas of the image and you use a brush tool to um, pretty much get exactly what you want to modify. Now to lighten up the shadow areas of an image you would want to use the dodge tool and oppositely if you wanted to darken areas of an image you want to use the burn tool. Now those tools are over here in the tools panel and um, they're over here in this section where there's either a like lollipop looking signal or, or a icon or a hand and then there's also the sponge tool within it and I'll talk about the sponge tool at a, in a later tutorial and go more in depth about that but this time I'm just gonna stick with the burn and dodge tool so let me show you what the burn tool actually does and I'll just duplicate my layer that way I can do a comparison this is going to uh, darken the image so I'll just pick out something that's really bright such as this uh, shirt here and I'll just keep on using this uh, burn tool in here to make it a little darker and now you can see it looks like it's actually burning it, the the shirt so that's what the uh, burn tool does so if you got something that's like a highlight that's like blasting out your pictures maybe like a window that's really really bright and you can't even tell what the hell it is it um, then you would want to use this tool I'm gonna go back in my history to the very to uh, where I duplicated the layer so that none of the burn tools on there. Now let's check out the dodge tool. Now this is going to lighten stuff up. So if I come down here to where it's all dark and stuff on the bottom of the shirt and I start applying this, you can see that it's lightening up the bottom of the shirt. And you just hold, click and hold and then you just drag up around it. Um, let's see here alright so that's uh, pretty much been lightened up uh, and we can compare it by looking at the comparing by turning off the visibility of the background copy and com comparing it to the untouched background and now you can see how much different it has been lightened up so that's how you use the uh, dodge tool now there are a couple um, options up here and the bar menu bar up here that you can use to customize your uh, tools we've got the range here and you can affect the shadows the midtones or the highlights and I'm sure you guys know what those are so I'm not going to go over those too much and then we've got exposure next to it now exposure is pretty much the intensity so if I put the exposure all the way up to 100% there we go and I start trying to lighten stuff up you can see immediately that it's lighting things up and I'll just go back and forth obviously there we go and I'm gonna step back in the history real quick and now I'm just gonna put it down to its lowest amount 1% and start trying to use it and you can tell there's not as much of a, of a change so it's a little lighter on there and then I'll do you can barely tell any difference I can kind of see it probably because um, it's on my own screen but hopefully you guys might not be able to see it not hopefully I'm sorry I said that um, you guys might not be able to see it on your uh, screen because it's such a minuscule value so um, it's good to keep it around 50 and if you really really need to lighten something up a lot put it at 100% if you don't need to then put it at 1% this checkbox here called uh, protect tones and is uh, you can turn it on or off obviously and you just check it to uh, to minimize the clipping and uh, reduce hue shifting and um, I'll just turn that off real quick let's put this at a hundred percent and then you can see how this works you can see that the hue is definitely shifted it, it's changing all this and it's not really blending in it with or blending in with what you're using too much so usually you want to have the protect tones on so that doesn't happen so here's protect tones and you can see that there it protects basically the hue the same options are on the uh, burn tool as well so these are uh, 
pretty much one are pretty much the same tool but they do opposite things so we can uh, choose our different brushes here the hardness is going to uh, show how much like pretty much it fades into the uh, image so with a hardness of a hundred percent you're gonna be able to definitely tell the edges of your um, definitely tell the edges of your work of your brush strokes now if I put this to something like 25 percent it's close close to 25 percent it's a little harder to tell where it ends and it kind of blends in more so usually when you're using these you want to use the uh, soft brush so keep it down pretty low and that's my opinion so there there's the the basics of the uh, burn tool and the dodge tool so use them if you want to lighten or darken things and you need to get like a specific thing so they're good because you can just apply it to certain parts of the image you can get exactly what you want with the uh, brushes and if um, these circular brushes don't work for you you can always change to uh, different looking brushes like this one's like a splattered splattered brush and you get the different like effects like that if you use the different brushes obviously so thanks for uh, watching this tutorial be sure to check out some more tutorials on buckysroom.org and uh, just look around have a good one everybody good luck on your projects